Hello everyone, welcome to week 12 of our golf fitness program. This is our final uh, week of our program and uh, we have a great, great class for you today. Uh, I'm John and I'm here with Pat and we're going to tell you what's going on this week. So the last thing we're going to touch on for week 12 is flexibility. So again, we, we did strength, we did mobility, we did you know low back, we did core strength, we did a ton of different things and hopefully you've enjoyed it, had success with it. Now we're going to do some things that you can do after a workout, after a golf game, that things that are going to increase your flexibility. Again, when you're holding a stretch, technically you're weak in a muscle, so you always want to do it at the end as a cool down. So we have three exercises that we're going to do for flexibility. The first one we're going to do is a hip flexor stretch. So John's going to go to the floor, he's going to be on one knee. The other foot is going to be straight forward. What he's going to do, he's going to lean forward, and then he's going to put his hands over his head, and then lean just back with his upper body. He's going to really stretch out that right quad and right hip flexor. Again, arms are straight and back. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. If, you, if that's too easy, you can hold up to a minute. Again, you're breathing through this. Again, when we are stretching, we never want to have pain in a stretch. We want a nice stretch that's uh, maybe a little uncomfortable, but no pain associated with it. So again, John's going to hold that for about 30 seconds, then we're going to switch sides. Again, the hands overhead are going to be a deeper stretch. So again, dive forward and then lean back with your upper body. Good, keeping in that same position. Again, you're gonna see maybe left side's tighter than the right, but again, you wanna stretch both of these out. Again, the hip flexors are another area that if they are tight, that can pull on your low back and cause some discomfort. That's why it's an important stretch to incorporate in on your program. Good. Next stretch, John's gonna be on the ground. We're gonna do a straddle stretch. So on the ground, on his butt, with his legs pointed straight out. Good. Now some of, some of you might be more flexible or less flexible, that's totally fine. Again, go as far as you can. So John, again, if you're, if you're really inflexible, it's really challenging, this might be enough of a stretch for you right now. If that's easy, you can put your hands in front of you. And then slowly start to lean down. Again, the goal is keeping your legs straight. Again, John, he's not going to show you, but he can put his head all the way to the floor. Totally. But that's the furthest you go down. But he's not going to do that. He's just going to go as far as what we think that's probably most of you are going to be able to do. Right, John? Totally, yeah. <laughs> but you're going to feel a nice stretch on your hamstrings, groin, inner thighs, maybe even a low back. Hold this for at least a minute, 30 seconds to a minute. That's what we're going for. Again, you can go to one side, you can go to the other side, or straight, and kind of move with this nice, good flow. Perfect. Good. And then the last one is going to be that shoulder mobility. So we're going to kind of be on the ground like in a child's pose. So you're going to drop all the way down with your butt, you're going to put your head to the floor is the goal. If you can't reach the head to the floor, you can be, use a pillow or some type of block to help with that. So you're going to tuck both your elbows along your sides. You're going to extend one arm straight out. You're going to rotate all the way back. Good, he's staying down in this position. He rotates back through. Same thing. And then he's going to tuck his elbow back in his side. Good. His shoulders are going to stay retracted and back. He's going to go, same thing. He's going to do five of these on one side. Great. And then all the way forward, taking his time, nice good mobility, and back. You can do five on one side, then go to the other side. So straight out, really reach back, stand down, and then all the way back through. Again, really good for that rotator cuff, shoulder mobility. Again, when you're swinging that golf swing, you need that flexibility in that, in that rotation. Same thing back. You stand down as deep as you can, head down, taking his time on this, breathing through it. Again, five on one side, five on the other. Good. So three stretches. Again, I recommend doing this after a workout. I recommend doing it, you know, after a golf game. It's going to increase your flexibility, but technically you won't want to do this before a workout because you're weakening the muscle. So it's always after the workout, after physical activity, even though. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed the 12-week program. 
We had a good time doing it with you guys. Uh, as you can tell from week one to now, I've increased my range of motion by what, at 20% mentally? Easily, easily, maybe 25%. So, so maybe I didn't move that, that <laughs> far, but I will tell you this, that it was great learning a lot of these things that I can continue to do all through the golf season uh, in the next winter. And you know, I, I will tell you that these are very important things to do. Um, I'm not 23 anymore, and uh, my body is definitely changing as I'm aging. And maintaining flexibility and the range of motion is going to be key for me to continue to play at the kind of level that I want to play at. So, so I can't under, uh, stress enough to you guys and how important this stuff is. And you know, if you dedicate yourself to just you know 30 minutes every couple of days of, of this, not even 15 minutes. Uh, it is going to make a big difference in, in your enjoyment of playing. You're going to play better. You're going to be able to play longer and hopefully a uh, better chance of staying injury free when you play. So uh, we're looking forward to coming up with other ideas on how we can keep you engaged with this type of activity. Watch for that at the club. Uh, we're going to continue to do some other things, whether it be the summer or into the fall. And uh, hopefully we can continue to have that relationship with Pat here at the gym. So again, great job everyone. Uh, we're proud of you for, for working through this the last 12 weeks with us. And we look forward to seeing you at the club. One, one thing I want to stress too is consistency. So if you do something a little bit every day, it's going to make a difference. So, you know, maybe these were challenging for you. By next winter, maybe they won't be as challenging for you if you consistently do them. So keep it up. I think you guys are doing great. John, you did great. And we look forward to working with you again. Take care everyone.